If you're an event designer in the event industry and you're using social media as your marketing tool to get in front of your dream clients so they can book your services. Well, I have some really good Instagram hacks that work extremely well for specifically event designers like you in our event industry. So if you would like to learn more, make sure you stay tuned so we can start booking dream clients in the door right away. Hey everyone, my name is Justine Jordan. I am an event marketing business coach that helps event designers like you build a profitable business through lead generating, content creation, and marketing strategies. So if that sounds like something you want to get started with, let's keep going. The first hack that works really well in the Instagram world for event designers just like you is creating video content for your business. As this video is made in the year of 2022, specifically September 22, video content is basically king on the platform right now. In fact, it's really king on all social media platforms moving on. Instagram back in 2016 and even later than that, a lot of people got in front of a lot of followers very easily when they post. And since around that time frame, Instagram has changed dramatically because the goal of the social media platform is to keep your followers' attention. So if you can keep your followers engaged with your content, they will reward you with more reach, at least organically, unless you're paying for ads. But to say this, video content is the highest engagement tool on any platform because more people want to see technically what is going on. I always tell my designers in my coaching program, telling a story is the most powerful marketing tool that we can come up with. So imagine if you can tell a story through visual video. Well, that's why video content is probably the number one tool you should be using on Instagram right now. If Instagram Reels is something that you're not engaging with with your event business on social media, you're losing out, right? If you wanna know what it's like to grow a platform, then you wanna take advantage of Instagram Reels. Now, a lot of people are like, ah! I don't know what to post. Well, here's an idea. If you're gonna show the behind the scenes of your event business, why not record the process in doing so? A lot of people love to see the A to B transformation when it comes to the outcome. Instead, as you're preparing for your designs, you're baking, you're taking pictures, you're answering invoices, all the behind the scenes that are going on, record it. Record it and then put it on the platform when it comes to an Instagram reel. Then my recommendation is to use a trending sound, at least 50,000 posts and under between five and 50,000 posts when it comes to that specific sound, saying that it's trending, you should capitalize on that sound and then maybe it will work in the algorithm's favorite and then it will reach a ton of people, people you could normally reach on your own. The second Instagram hack that you can use in your event business that really works well through the test of time is Instagram stories. Sometimes Instagram can get a bad name for itself. In fact, content creators such as myself don't really care for the Instagram algorithm because it's always working against you versus like platform like YouTube works with you because I want to be real right I rather post a YouTube video than an Instagram reel however my service-based entrepreneurs even in my coaching program the number one marketing tool I always tell them to gravitate on is Instagram it's the easiest platform to build relationships with your audience so they can like know and trust you and then once they trust you they're able to be a little less resistant when it comes to your prices for your services right because they feel like they're a part of your business by watching you grow and watching you get better and better as time goes on well the best place to put all of that content and all of that video is on Instagram stories. Instagram stories is probably the most slept on engaging tool on Instagram. Outside of the DMs, we'll get there next. However, Instagram stories is literally meant to tell a story. A lot of people do not post stories on Instagram stories. They post their new post, they post their new reel, they just post a picture here and there. Why not go deep with your audience? Why not give them the but true behind the scenes and let them know what's going on in real time? A lot of people will shy away from that, especially when it comes to showing their face on Instagram, but you don't even have to show your face Based on stories. Just show the day-to-day -day operations that are going on in your business. Are you writing an invoice? Share it. Are you answering emails? Boomerang it. Are you letting them know you have new inventory? Show them a video of that inventory. Allow people to be part of your process and grow with you. Gary V said it best. He said, content is king, but marketing is queen and runs the household. You have to understand, creating content is not just something that's going to go away. A lot of you 
don't want to make content and a lot of you like I'm not a content creator I'm just a person who likes to do design granted that's fine but the biggest names in your industry specifically the competitors and or aspirational profiles that you look up to capitalize on video content okay now do I think every single person capitalize on it no absolutely not because you don't know when a person started their Instagram because if they started it a couple of years ago before the algorithm got all crazy they were able to get a lot more reach than some people are today and to be honest like I said we're gonna dive in deeper with more marketing strategies but stop worrying about the views and worry about the viewer see the viewer is the person that's going to buy the service the views are just going to like maybe comment and then keep on moving so who would you want the viewer or the views a lot of my event designers don't show the day-to-day -day operations. In fact, they don't feel like they have enough content to even showcase anything. But if you're taking a course or you're being coached by me, click the link down below to get coached by me. Show that, right? Even the people in my coaching program, it's like you follow, if you're watching a lesson or if you're here on live, take a boomerang. That's part of growing your business. This allows the ability to have trust and build trust with your audience. It helps to convert cold traffic into warm leads. And what cold traffic is, it's just basically people don't know you. What develops a warm lead is when they hit that follow and engage with your content. That's what the goal is for Instagram stories is to completely engage with the people who are already in your world. Even if they're family or friends from stickers to polls to asking questions to gifs or gifs however you say it utilizing those engagement tools to let your audience engage with your story creates momentum for your instagram stories now why do we want to focus on instagram stories one you definitely should be posted once a day at least and then two instagram stories has its own algorithm did you know this I tested this theory out and my cousin who is a fitness coach he literally has less followers than me and not to compete but I don't really care how many followers he has however he averages about 600 views on his story and I was like wait a minute how do you have more views on your story but I have more followers in my Instagram how is that possible come to find out there's a lot of things that go into play he's always using polls with his stories in fact if he can't show his face he just shows shows a Instagram poll and gets his audience to engage and he's been doing that for a couple of years now so it makes sense why he's always in front of a lot of people also when people respond to your story with like a reaction emoji reaction or they DM you or they even heart it on the end this also signifies that you as the viewer like your customers as the viewer loves the content that the business is pushing so let's say for instance I'm the viewer and you're the business owner right if I'm engaging with your Instagram and I'm liking it and I'm doing the engagement polls and I'm polling this kind of signifies to Instagram like oh my goodness she loves this story and remember the overall goal of Instagram is to keep people on the platform longer so then they're gonna push your story in front of my view first because I love to engage with your stories it's such a strategy that most people specifically my business owners they sleep on and I will tell you this if you can do one Instagram with one engagement tool every single day I guarantee you you will probably make more sales than your competitors. This is a great opportunity to get to know who's in your world through engagement, polls, questions, or just in general, just to have fun. Don't think too much about this. Like, just show up. <laughs> Do what feels good to you and let it, just make sure you're building a habit once a day and just showing up. Because the more you show up in your business, the more you put in that effort, the more of that is brought back to you. Now, I do my research and whatever momentum you put out there, it attracts back. We are all energy that is not something spiritual you are made of energy so therefore Isaac Newton's law of motion the third law of motion says for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction so guess what happens when you show up in your business write it down in the comment section what happens when you show up because Isaac Newton knew it your energy the universe is energy other people are energy so if you show up Let's go on to the next topic. But meanwhile, answer that question below. The next Instagram hack that always works for my event designers in the event industry is the DM strategy. Ooh. <laughs> According to Vanessa Lau, who I absolutely love and 
am her number one fan. But she states that Instagram is probably the only platform that allows creators as in, and business owners such as you to build relationships through messaging. And I will say this, I can attest to that, which is why Instagram is still part of my marketing strategy because when people DM each other, you're building a connection. There's a lot of strength when it comes to building connections with your audience because you're providing an experience before they even book your services. There's just so much that you can do with these DMs. You can message, you can voice memo, you can send pictures, videos. You can even have a FaceTime or video chat with your followers. Like, it can get that real. I've done it before. But it's the most underrated feature, and a lot of event designers in the industry strive away from it. In fact, people will say in their bios, no DMs. And I'm like, why? Now, don't get me wrong. There are people on this platform who have a lot of followers, and you're a business owner first before a content creator. But building that relationship through the DM has so much power and a lot of people sleep on this strategy when it comes to dm conversations there is a script that i give in party like a ceo that is literally a game changer for getting their clients from just being followers to clients in the door that book their services and if you want that script you know what to do apply to my coaching program but either way just have relationships with, with your audience get to know them. Understand that that is another person versus another sale. That is another person versus another viewer. That's another person versus another like. This turns the analytics and insights on Instagram into real people. Some people get so hung up. I'm like, oh my God, I only have 100 followers. Oh my God, I only have 5,000 followers. Oh my gosh, I wish I had 10,000 followers. Do you know how many people that is? Do you really know how many people is 100 people in a room? How many people is 500 people in a room? How many people is 5,000 people in a room? Stop getting hung over about the vanity metric and get more inspired that 5,000 people, 500 people, 50 people truly believe in you and they are spending their utmost time watching and seeing you grow. Let that sink in. We forget that there are real humans on the other side of that lens, other side of that camera, other side of that phone, right? Just like you. I love you. I know you're watching. I value you. And if you value me, give this video a like. <laughs> you see what I'm doing here? I'm allowing you to engage with me. So let me know which strategy will help you in your event business. And don't forget, watch my last video where we discuss 90% of marketing strategies that don't usually work with Instagram because you want to avoid that too. I love you all. Continue designing your dreams to reality and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! But according, <laughs> according to Isaac Luton, <laughs> not Luton. <laughs>